Hey YouTube, this is how to play and record Sega Genesis gameplay on the computer. First thing you're going to want to do is create a folder. I'm going to do mine on that desktop over here. I'm going to call it Sega. After you do that, you're going to want to go down to the description and you'll see two links. One for Kega Fusion emulator and one for Earthworm Jim ROM. First, you're going to want to go to the uh, emulator one, and it'll bring you to this website. Once you come here, scroll all the way down, you'll see this right here, Fusion 3.64, click it. You're going to want to open it. See, I use Alzip, you can use WinZip or uh, WinRAR, one of those programs. Once it downloads, open it. Now this is where you're going to want to extract it. So click extract and uh, hopefully you made the folder on the desktop as well. You can just follow along then. See it says Sega here. We're going to click extract and you'll see it's in the Sega folder. Next thing you're going to do is go get the ROM which is the link is below if you click it it'll take you to this website don't ask me why I picked Earthworm Jim I just like it click download now the link will appear same process as before. We're going to extract it to the same folder. Alright, now we have that. Now with Kega Fusion, after you record right, it uses its own Kodak to play the video. So you have to go into the folder, go into the Kega or the Fusion 364 folder, you'll see video Kodak. You'll see two files, a DLL right here, and then a Kega game video. You want to go to this one, right click it, click install. And that simply puts that DLL folder or DLL file right here into the system 32. Now that will be able to play the videos that you record. Now you want to go back into that Sega folder, go into Fusion 364, see where it says Fusion here, double click it, and you'll see uh, it opens up. You want to go to File. The Genesis 32X ROM. Go to the Sega folder on your desktop and you'll see Earthworm Jim. Double click it and look, it loads up. Now, uh, the keyboard automatically becomes the controller. That's just how it's uh, made. Enter start. You can go in and play it real quick. Now that we have it loaded up, if you go to video, you can click log AVI file. And we'll just call it Jimster. <laughs> you click save. Now we're recording. I'm just uh, messing around just to show you how this works. Once you have uh, what you wanted recorded, go up to video, log AVI file. AVI logging stopped. Now we can X out of this. Now under that folder again you'll see it's saved right here. Jimster. We Now uh, in order to put this on YouTube you're gonna have to take that file that you created and open it up in Windows Movie Maker. What you can do by going into Windows Movie Maker, 
going to import video go to the Sega folder under the desktop and you'll see Gemster since we have that Kodak uploaded it's also able to be edited in Windows Movie Maker so you just drag it down bam and then size file save movie file call it whatever you want and it will save it hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you guys upload some cool videos after this thanks for watching